Hi, I'm Robert, and not too long ago I was wandering around online in the middle of the night, and I found a whole bunch of videos tagged uh, seven things about you. So I decided, hey, why the hell not? Let's do, let's do one. Um, I'm maybe an interesting guy? No, but I thought about it, and I'm like, this is what all the kids are doing these days. They're putting up more videos. Maybe that's why fact number one is, I don't think I've finished puberty. Yeah, that sounds a little weird. I know. It's a joke I'm always making. Um, I mean, number one, look at me. I look like I'm 17, 18 years old. If you clicked on this video and you don't know me, you probably assume that I was just some teenager. Nope. 29 years old. 1984, ladies and gentlemen. Number two, this. This doesn't grow. This doesn't grow at all. I did just shave this morning, but it was the first time in like a week. However, the funny thing is, is from the waist down, it's like a Yeti. I don't know. I've got disgustingly hairy legs. Ah! Number three. I am lead singer in the most awesomest rock band in the history of rockdom, The Throbbing Testicles. I'm in a crappy uh, comedy punk band here in Arkansas. My thoughts on the reason for T3 is there are too many things in the world that are just kind of crappy and too many things for you to focus on uh, that make you sad. No. I like to believe if you listen to a T3 song, you, you don't have to think very hard. Uh, if you hear us playing DTA, you know, oh, these guys are singing songs about tacos and burritos and they're, they, got their, they got their keyboard player dancing all out of rhythm because he can't dance on the beat for some reason. I'm a big believer that music is what you get out of it, and uh, to you it might resonate on a certain level, and to me it might mean something completely different. So who am I to tell you, no, that's wrong, and this song's about this, but half the time with T3 songs it's just, hey, this is a song about tacos, this is a song about bees. Nobody likes bees. If you like bees, Numero cuatro. I'm kind of shy, and I'm very self-conscious about a lot of things uh, here and there. I don't like the sound of my voice sometimes. I feel like I don't have a good enough range in there. I'm constantly in the back of my head thinking that people are judging me for some stupid reason. It's ironic to me that I dive so deep into music and expressing myself this way when I'm very self-conscious about a lot of things. Number five. Sometimes I feel like I don't fit in uh, anywhere. <laughs> I was born and raised in a, in a uh, pretty, pretty religious household. Uh, I still follow uh, the same religious beliefs, except I'm not like a cookie cutter. Gee willikers, Jimmy, we're gonna be all hunky-dory today. I don't, I don't act like that. But to friends and other people who just don't care, uh, a lot of times they're saying, ah, oh, <laughs> Robert's that good a good a kid. He doesn't, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink, he doesn't have sex with people, he doesn't do this. Ah, he's not getting in any trouble. Yet, other friends know better that I'm a little vulgar at times, I might say something. But I don't do a lot of these things, and that's okay. So I am put on the super good side, I guess, to some people. I don't know, and it kind of irks me a little bit, so I get made fun of there. And then when I was in college, I go way up in Idaho, where there's a lot of people in my church up there. Uh, who I come way on the other side of the spectrum. They're like, You're the devil. Anyway, <laughs> point of this story is, I go to where a lot of people believe the same things I do. I'm kind of on the spectrum of not a great person, and then at home, I'm on the spectrum. I, I'm a little different, and uh, for some reason, that's weird too. So a lot of people don't see me eye to eye. So a lot of times, I don't really feel like I fit in somewhere. But you know what? That's okay. I'm an adult, and uh, I'm going to keep doing how I want to live, and I'm going to do things the way I want to. Because if I'm not happy with myself, then who am I going to be? Sometimes life isn't easy, sometimes life isn't great, and sometimes I'm not happy. But you know what? That's okay, because it's my life to live, and if you don't like it, tough nuggets. Number six! Here's a weird one. Um, some people are afraid of heights, some people are afraid of spiders, I'm afraid of both. Um, some people are afraid of clowns. I have a phobia, if you can call it that, that's kind of weird. I've heard of some people having a textile thing, like they don't like to touch certain objects or uh, certain textures when they eat or whatever. I have a real problem with foam. 
not like bubble foam, but like mattress pad foam, uh, or those like big foam fingers that you see at sports events and stuff like that. I don't know what it is. I, I have a serious problem with this. Um, I go to I go to touch it and it just it makes me curl my fingers. If I wear gloves, it's fine. If I pull my sleeves down over, it's fine. I call it foamophobia. <laughs> I, I I I searched the internet and once upon a time I found one person in a forum from like six years ago uh, post that they had the same issue and I don't I. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's, it's not like a life crippling fear. It's not like I walk into a room full of foam and I go, ah! That doesn't happen. Uh, but I have some serious issues with, with touching it. I really don't know why. Here's my celebrity story. So back in 2006, I went to the Warp Tour out in Salt Lake City. Just got my stuff signed by 30 Seconds to Mars, and a girl about four people in the line behind me was trying to hand Jared Leto one of those big foam fingers, and I saw him recoil in fear of it, it almost seemed. And uh, he said, uh, I, I, I won't, I'm, I can't sign that. And at first I thought, well, maybe they were like, you can only sign your CDs or this, whatever. But he said, uh, there's something about those things. I just, I, I can't touch them. Uh, they, they give me the heebie-jeebies. I'll sign anything else, just not that. So maybe that's something that Jared Leto and I have in common. Maybe we both have fomophobia. I don't know. Maybe there's more of us out there. There's more of you out there. Come forward. Help me not feel alone. It's terrifying. Or something. Number seven. So here's something about, um, I did mention that I look like I'm a kid. Uh, I can't help that. That's something I can't help. Something else that I have not been able to help most of my life is I'm a, I'm a tiny guy. Uh, I'm very skinny. I mean, look at these little, look at these little weenie arms. And I stopped growing after that. I stopped gaining weight, too. Which most people are like, can't gain weight, huh? That doesn't seem like a problem to me. Well, guess what? It kind of is. If you are super severely underweight, it kind of... If you're overweight, you get tired. You can't move around as quickly. You overheat, blah, 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 blah. Well, if you're super underweight, you have those same things as well as extreme fatigue. Uh, you go running, and then suddenly you get the shakes. People are like, is that guy on meth? No. It's called I'm super underweight and I start wiggling. So here's something that I am super proud of right now. It's this guy. Blah, 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 blah. Hello. He's my new friend. I gained him this year. I'm happy about it. It's like a little baby that will never come out of my little belly. Recently I went to a museum that had one of those exhibits that would tell you how much you weigh on Earth and how much you weigh on the sun, and I thought, oh, this would be cool, how much do I weigh on the sun? And then the real surprise stood when I went on the scale and I assumed I still weighed like 125, 128, and it said, 147? Oh, well that's where this came from. <laughs> I think I've had my fun with it and I'd like it to slim down a little bit now, but you know what, for the last 10 years I've been super underweight and I have never ever been able to gain more weight. I've never been over 134 pounds because then I would do something and then when I get stressed, it all goes away and I can't help that. So those are seven facts about me. I probably went on a lot longer than I meant to and I'm probably gonna trim this down super hardcore on this. Uh, but it's the start and I'm gonna start making videos more often. Will they be like this? Or will they be something else? I don't know. But I felt like doing something a little different because I need to beef up my portfolio a little bit. This isn't portfolio material. What am I doing? Turn this crap off.